Okay, starting with an introduction. My name is John Costigan, and I'm in my fifth year of teaching for California's Oro Grande Unified School District. I started teaching fourth and fifth grade, moved on to eighth grade math, and I'm now teaching high school credit recovery and independent study at Mojave River Academy. Um, next, I'll enumerate and summarize the 10 essential dispositions of teaching. Like most good educators, I feel I possess all 10 dispositions. However, all teachers must be continually vigilant for any lapse in their expression due to stress or the daily rigor of our chosen profession. Okay, so we'll start with the first disposition is high expectations. They're demonstrated by identifying both strengths and weaknesses in students through assessments, then using the knowledge from those assessments to individualize instruction, differentiate it for each student. Second is diversity. Using diversity to cast a light on all student perspective and initiating diversity of thought and practice from others in all curriculum. Third is fairness. Fairness is demonstrated by assessing student learning consistency and without bias. Fourth is professional conduct. Professional conduct is demonstrated by exhibiting initiative and dedication and demonstrating respect for self, colleagues, students, and property. The fifth disposition is reflection. It's demonstrated by seeking feedback to measure the effectiveness of teaching processes and using feedback to change ineffective processes. The sixth disposition is curiosity. Curiosity is demonstrated by stimulating students to think creatively and outside the box, challenging and motivating students to think critically and problem solve. Uh, Seven would be honesty. Honesty can be demonstrated by always speaking truthfully to your students, being transparent in your decision-making processes, and always keeping the students in, at the center of your decision-making processes, particularly for lesson plans and curriculum. The eighth disposition is compassion. Compassion can be characterized by being genuinely interested in your students, and knowing your students beyond the academic picture. The ninth disposition is advocacy. Advocacy can be demonstrated by taking the time to understand student issues and concerns, assisting students in finding resolutions to their problems, and guiding students through the problem-solving process. The tenth and final disposition is dedication. Dedication is exemplified by punctuality, cons consistent attendance, and engagement in personal and professional development. All right, in conclusion, and hopefully without presumption, I modeled my personal teaching philosophy uh, on an example from Scripture. Just as the Lord encapsulated the Ten Commandments into two, I encapsulated the Ten Essential Dispositions into the two cornerstones of my PP teaching philosophy. Pardoning the pun in the acronym that all my students seem to love. The P stand for punctuality and patience. All teachers should be punctual in that they need to be physically with their students to model and guide their instruction. And finally, patience is required of all teachers to put in the necessary time to provide inclusive and engaging in instruction and truly be advocates for their students' academic improvement. Hopefully, that sums up my 10, the 10 essential dispositions into my two cornerstones or the dispositions for my teaching philosophy. Thank you, John Costigan.